Hey guys, welcome to or back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be making a bucket hat, crochet bucket hat tutorial, like this one. Um, it's really easy, beginner friendly. Some things that you should know before you start the video is how to do a double crochet, how to do a magic circle, what else? How to work in the round and how to do a slip knot and chains. But once you know how to do like the basic crochet things, then this tutorial should be really easy for you. All you have to do is follow it. I got a lot of comments asking how I made this bucket hat, so I just wanted to share it with you guys, and I hope this tutorial helps. Let's get started. So the materials we need for this bucket hat are obviously yarn. This is Red Heart acrylic yarn in the color Cafe, if you guys were wondering. And a crochet hook. I'm using a 5mm crochet hook because that's the best crochet hook for this type of yarn. I believe this is type 4 yarn. And then some scissors. And that's all you'll need. This bucket hat is really easy. So let's get started. First, we're going to make a magic circle. And if you don't know how to make a magic circle, you can watch a YouTube tutorial, but I'm gonna try my best to explain it. So all you have to do for a magic circle is act as if you're about to make a slip knot. So take your yarn, hold it like this, wrap around your fingers, back around your fingers to make an X like this and once you have this X you're gonna go under the first um, loop grab the second one pull up pinch and then you can let go so now you're gonna take this long tail pull it up like this and so you have this make sure not to touch this keep it nice and loose you're going to chain one chain another and then you're going to do 10 double crochets into the loop. So a double crochet is when you wrap around once, go into the loop, pull up the loop. So now you'll have three loops on your, your hook and you want to pull through two, pull through another two. You're now gonna do this nine more times. So wrap around once, go into the circle, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two. Wrap around in the circle, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two. So I'm gonna do 10 and I'll show you guys what that looks like. So let me show you a couple more times and then I'll time lapse it. Okay, I've just completed 10 double crochets and I'm going to, now if you forget how many you do, you can count, so you just count the Vs and that is, so let me show you guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So now that I have 10, I'm going to take this small little string, pull it to close the circle. You just pull it kind of tight. And now we can start working in the round. So now I'm going to do a slip stitch into my first double crochet, which is right here. It's kind of hard to see. You don't want to get it confused with the chain, which is right here. You want to go into the first V loop. So you're going to take your crochet hook, go into there, pull your loop up, pull through, and boom, you've completed a circle. And that's how you do magic ring. I hope that was... A uh, good tutorial. You can also use the chain four and then connect to that method. But I don't really like that because it leaves a hole at the top of your bucket hat. So I prefer magic circle. Or right, not that you've connected your circle. You're going to chain two. One, two. And now we're going to do an increase on every stitch in the row. So you'll go up to 20 rows. So we're going to do a double crochet into the stitch we slip stitched in. So we're going to do two in there. So here's one. And two. And you're gonna do that to all the stitches. Um, a little thing you could do to get rid of this tail so you don't have to sew it in is you could, while you're crocheting, so I'm going into here, you could put this on top of your stitches and just kind of um, yarn or uh, crochet over it. So there's one and two. 
there's another two. So I'm just taking the small tail and I'm just holding it on top. But you don't have to, this is optional. This is just to keep it out of, so you don't have to sew it in, but you could also just sew it in at the end if you don't feel like doing that or if it's like too tricky to understand. So yeah, I'm just gonna do two double crochets all the way across the circle. So far I've done one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm at six, so here's seven. Eight, nine, ten. And if this video is going too fast for you, you could always um, slow it down. There's like the little, I don't remember if it's three dots or the little settings thing at the top right corner, but you could slow the video down. Or if you just want to know how I make my book hats and you already know how to crochet, you could speed it up and just listen to my pattern. But yeah, so I'm just going to complete my row. Eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. I recommend keeping count of your stitches instead of just working until you think you're done because a lot of the times what people will do is they'll go into this and thinking that it's a stitch but it's just your chain and they'll end up increasing when they don't want to. So I always recommend counting your stitches just to ensure that you don't accidentally increase. So now, once you're here, you're going to go into that first double crochet with the slip stitch. Sometimes it can be kind of tricky to get in there. And boom, that's second row of our circle. So you're gonna chain two. You're always gonna chain two at the beginning of your round. So chain two. Now we're gonna do an increase a regular stitch and an increase a regular stitch all around. So you're gonna do two double crochets into the stitch you just slip stitched in. So it looks like you have three loops, but you really only have two because you don't count the chain two. Then you're going to do one and then move on to the next stitch doing two. Then one double crochet. Next stitch, two. Next stitch, one. Next stitch, two. So you're going to continue this all around and you should end up with a total of 30 rows. And 30. So I'm done with my 30 double crochets and now I'm going to slip stitch into the first double crochet like normal, chain two, and we're ready for our next round. So I don't know if you recognize the pattern yet, but basically what we're gonna be doing is we started with an increase on every stitch and then we did an increase on every other stitch and now we're gonna do an increase two regular stitches and increase and then after that it's an increase three regular stitches and increase four and increase you know and on and on and on until i think i do about six i kind of just measure it to my head but normally i think i do about and i get into six double crochets and then an increase but now we're going to move on to our next round so we're going to do always start with two double crochets in the first stitch And you know that you are on the right track if you start off with an increase and end without an increase or if you start with a regular stitch and end with an increase it's always the opposite so now i'm going to do two regular double crochets in the next two stitches wait did i say that right? no i'm sorry you're going to be doing one double crochet in the next two stitches so one two and then an increase on the next one 
and then one regular double crochet another regular double crochet and increase one regular double crochet another regular double crochet and increase and you're just going to continue that all the way around until you have 40 stitches I also just wanted to say thank you guys so much for all of the love and support and comments that I got on my last video. I'm so, so appreciative. Um, that's the reason I'm making this video. I was a little discouraged at first because I like, kind of convinced myself that the tutorial wasn't good. But like you guys' comments really, really, really motivated me and helped me to like improve and just, you know, not think so low on myself in my like tutorials and things like that. So thank you so much. You guys have taught me a lot and I'm really, really appreciative of it. And yeah, I really hope this tutorial is just as good as the last. Also comment what else you guys want me to make a tutorial on because I definitely will. I love making these videos for you guys. And 40. So I've just completed 40 crochets on chain two. And now we're going to do uh, an increase, three double crochets, and increase three double crochets. So chain two, do your increase. So two double crochets into the first stitch. Now we're going to do one double crochet into the next three stitches. So here's one. Next stitch, two. And next stitch, three. Now we're going to make an increase into the stitch after that. So one, two, two double crochets in there. And now we're going to do one increase, I mean one double crochet into the next three stitches. So here's one, and two, and three. Now we're going to do an increase. And we're going to continue this all the way till the end of the round. So I'll show you guys one more time. One double crochet. Two double crochets. And three double crochets. And then an increase. Okay, I'm back and I finished. Now I'm going to slip, st slip stitch into the first double crochet and chain two. And that should have been 50 double crochets all the way around. Now we're gonna move on to increase four double crochets, increase four double crochets. So we're gonna do an increase in the first stitch like always. And then one double crochet into the next four stitches. So one, two, three, and four now we're going to do another increase so two into the next one now we're going to go back to four so one two three four and then we're going to go to one double crochet i mean an increase sorry and we're going to continue this all the way around. So I'll show you guys one more time. One, two, three, four, and then an increase. I just finished 50 rows and now I'm going to slip stitch into the first double crochet, chain two, first stitch always an increase. So here's one, two, 
Now we're going to do five double crochets and then another increase. So here's one, two, three, four, five, and then an increase into the sixth stitch. Let me show you guys one more time. Here's one, two, three, four, and five. Now an increase into the sixth. So you're gonna do that all the way around and then I'll meet you guys back. So now we're going to slip a stitch into the first double crochet and for the next six rounds we're just going to be doing 70 double crochets all the way around. So chain two, only one double crochet into this stitch and one in all of the rest of the stitches. We're done making increases until our brim. So yeah, we're just going to work one double crochet in each stitch for the next six rounds. So this is round one. And then when we get back here, we're gonna start again for round two, then three, then four, then five, and then six. I'll meet you guys back when I'm done with all six of my rounds so you guys can see how it looks. Um, you can make more or less rounds depending on where you want your book hat to stop. My rule of thumb is to make it until it stops right at the top of your ears because I think that's where it's most comfortable and where you should start making the brim. Okay, I finished my six rows and this is what the hat should look like. You could do more or less depending on where you want your hat to stop, but now we're gonna start working on the brim. So, for the brim, we're going to continue our increases. I chain two again, and we're gonna do an increase in the first stitch. And we're gonna be working in the front loops only so the loops that are facing you so you see how there's the v's we're going to be working into these parts of the v's so my first loop i'm going through that v and i'm going to do two double crochets in there and then for the next we're going to put one double crochet in the next three stitches so again working in the front loops only we're going to do one two and three and what working in the front loops only is kind of it makes your your stitches go outwards so you want your brim to go out and that's what this does leaving these loops in the back and we're going to continue this pattern all around so i'm going to do an increase in this first loop only And then one double crochet into the next three stitches. So here's one, two, and three. And then an increase into the next one. Again, only going front loops only. And this is the only round we're going to be going front loops only for the rest of the rounds. We're going to be going in both loops. So again. going to do this all the way around and I'll meet you guys when we get back so I finished that round now for this next round we're going to be doing double crochets all the way around with no increases so chain two and we're going to be going into both loops from now until the end so just one double crochet into each stitch going in both loops. Comment what color you guys are making this bucket head and I'm interested to know. 
I'm going to do this brown because I matched my my sweater and also on my shop brown is actually a really popular color that people order in bucket hats so I just wanted to make one just in case somebody ordered it and it would already be done and I could chip fest but yeah I feel like bucket hats are one of the easiest things you can make in crochet and something that's actually really quick and rewarding because of how quick it is like these bucket hats only take about one or two hours depending on if you get distracted or you mess up or something but yeah I really like making bucket hats they're really quick really easy really fun and really rewarding but yeah i'll meet you guys when i finish this round so we can go on to the next okay i just finished my round and then i slip stitch into the first stitch and this is what your bucket hat should be looking like so far as you can see going into those back those front loops only made the brim kind of stick out a little bit which is what we want now we're going to move on to the next round which we're just going to repeat the first one with the increases so it's just chain two again in both loops we're going to do two double crochets into the first stitch and then we're going to do one in the next three so one the next one two the next one three and then another increase so it's three three double crochets and increase three double crochets and then increase all the way until you get to the end of your round okay guys so just finished that row and this is what the hat is looking like at this point you can stop or you can continue doing the pattern that we were doing with the increase three double crochets increase and then the next round just regular double crochets and just repeating that or you could stop here which i think is what i'm going to do so let me show you guys how to fasten off so take your scissors look how cute mine are i got them from this little um yarn boutique place small business place but take your scissors and then you're going to put your yarn in your loop chain one take your scissors cut your yarn leaving kind of a tail so you can sew it in pull your yarn through tighten it and now we're going to sew in our loose ends i only have one because i tucked in that beginning one so I'm, I'm gonna trim that because it's already tucked in so i'm not worried about it coming out i'm gonna just trim it so it's not so in the way and to sew on your loose ends you can use a darn needle but i just use my crochet hook and what i do is i just go into random loops keeping it in the top loops trying not to go like through as you can see like in the back you can't see my hook but in the front it's there and i just pull through random loops till i reach where about my my yarn is and then I take my yarn pull through all these loops and I just continue to do this a couple times and this just keeps your work from unraveling and once I think it's secure enough I'll just take my scissors and trim and there you go there's how you make a bucket hat this is a straight brim bucket hat there's different stores on youtube that have like curvy brims or like no brims there's big brims there's so many kinds of brims but a lot of people are asking how i do my straight brims so yeah there you go candle made bucket hat let's try it on and do this outro okay are we ready are we ready here's the bucket hat it is so cute like look so yes that's how i make my bucket hat i hope this tutorial was helpful and i hope that you're watching this outro with the brand new bucket hat and yeah what i really like about these bucket hats is that like you don't have to just wear it like this like you could curve it up or you could do like a little cowboy look like with the you know you know or you could just wear it straight which I think is my favorite. It's like perfect for the summer. Oh my god, it's so cute. It's like a perfect summer little bucket hat. And you can make your brim longer, you can make it curvier, curlier, shorter. But this is the length that I like to go for. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Check out my TikTok, because that's where I get my 
requests from to make my tutorial so if you guys want to request a tutorial comment on this video or comment on my tiktok link is in my bio um my shop link is in my not my bio link is in the description and then my shop link is in my description my pinterest is in my description if you're interested in any of that it's in the description box so yes thank you so much for watching i love you